I don't think I need to remind you that education is vital in our society and for all our futures. A high quality education can ensure each child and learner has the opportunity to discover and achieve their potential. But we cannot do this if our education staff, our teachers and our support staff are battling through excessive workloads and struggling with real pay cuts. I work in education and, and as do so many of the people I know. I'm also a county councillor and I despair at how discussions have become dwarfed, referring to outputs and league tables and statistics, but really the children whose futures are in our hands. A discussion that has been shaped by marketisation and privatisation in the sector that forces have also led to education staff being underpaid. I see firsthand how those I know working in education are working up to 20 hours extra per week, their evenings and their weekends, eaten up by the bureaucracy that is needed to keep this market operating, despite it not providing school places, the quality of education and the accountability that children and our communities deserve. Other speakers have already highlighted the detrimental impact on the, of this on the mental health of education staff. We all agree that we need ed an education workforce that is highly motivated, skilled and is, enable, is able to impart their passion and knowledge to support learners and enable them to develop. Yet we have dedicated education workers who are exhausted, who are unable to take breaks, who are unable to spend time with their families. Just today, my sister, a former teacher, has said, exhausted teachers can't teach properly. The most important thing for a class is that their teacher is well rested and physically and emotionally well. When they stand in front of them each day, a tired teacher cannot deliver to the best of their advantage, even with the best planned and detailed lesson. And as the motion highlights, they are battling against the odds to deliver high quality learning. As trade unionists, we should be concerned that not only is this hindering children from having the best education they can, but we're also sending a signal that this is what to expect from the world of work, and they deserve better. Conference, please support this motion and its call to pressure the government into immediate action on this important issue.